Where do you go to put a smile on your face? Bring your entire family to JR's. JR's doesn't just stop at ribs, excellent seafood, OC's best all lump crab cakes, barbecue chicken, and a great kids' menu. JR's Sports Bar, Ocean City's newest sports bar, and the loud and proud home of Raven's Nest 23. Carry out rib and chicken tubs at our new JR's Express drive thru. Order meal deals or buckets of special recipe one of a kind chicken. Once you try us, we gotcha. For all your fun under the sun, your vacation starts on Beach Television. You're watching BTV. Welcome to Happy Jack's Pancake House, the oldest pancake house at the beach. Happy Jack's has been serving a mouth-watering breakfast menu for over 40 years with all your breakfast favorites, including our country breakfast. And for lunch, try our certified Angus Beef Heavy Burger. If you're looking for a great breakfast, Happy Jack's has what you want. Happy Jack's has been serving an outstanding menu with countless varieties of pancakes, waffles, omelets, and lunch. So if it's a breakfast or lunch treat for your family, bring them to Happy Jack's Pancake House on 26th Street and Coastal Highway. Welcome to the Dough Roller. We're Ocean City's favorite family restaurant all day long. You'll love our full-service breakfast, offering over a dozen varieties of pancakes and omelets. Come back at lunchtime and try our famous fresh dough pizza or one of our many delicious subs, sandwiches, or salads. Bring the whole family in for one of our fantastic Italian dinners served with garlic bread starting at just $5.99. We have four convenient locations up and down the beach to serve you. Two on the boardwalk and two on Coastal Highway. The Dough Roller. Good things are rolling your way. The Boardwalk Plaza Hotel. Experience award-winning hospitality in a Victorian oceanfront setting. Delightful accommodations, an oceanfront restaurant, a lobby parlor filled with antiques. The Boardwalk Plaza offers a glimpse of an earlier, gentler time. Choose a suite with a private balcony or deluxe accommodations with a whirlpool bathtub. Then take a dip in our heated indoor-outdoor spa. You'll be charmed by the comfortable elegance. The Boardwalk Plaza Hotel, Olive Avenue, and The Boardwalk, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Hi, I'm Dan Cosmo, your local jeweler for over 30 years. And now I want to add my other passion of coins to the business. I need to buy your coins and will pay you the most for them. We're buying all types of coins, whether just a few or an entire collection. We're buying gold coins, silver coins, silver bullion, paper money, and collectible coins such as Indian Ed pennies and buffalo nickels. Gold and silver at record highs, so bring your coins into DA Cosmo Jewelers and the Ocean City Factory Outlets and let us appraise them for you. Quiet Storm on the Boardwalk, Maryland's largest surf shop, has Ocean City's largest selection of brand name sunglasses such as Oakley, Costa, Maui Jim, Electric, Fox, Dragon, and Von Zipper. Quiet Storm is the leader of sandal selection for men, women, and children in Ocean City, featuring brands like Reef, Sanook, Rainbow, Roxy, Billabong, Ocean Mining, Vans, Toms, and more. Walls and walls of choices. Sandals, sunglasses, so much more. Quiet Storm Surf Shop, North Division Street on the Boardwalk. Welcome to Resort Report. I'm Susan Jones, and joining me today is my co-worker, Amy Tingle. Welcome, Amy. Thank you, Susan. We're from the Hotel Motel Restaurant Association, a nonprofit trade group here in Ocean City. And if you haven't heard, the way we make our money is our annual trade show. What year is it now? This is the 39th year for our you're show. You're kind of all running together. They are. <laughs> 
But we have some great new things this year. We, we have do. an expanded bayfront ballroom, floor to ceiling Gorgeous. windows. Uh, we have a top chef coming, which is a great thing. It's Mike Isabella. And you may have heard of him from Top Chef season six, or he has a couple of restaurants in DC, Graffiato. And he was on the Top Chef All Stars? He was. He's huge, and he's coming here to do a cooking demo and a cookbook signing. We're so excited. Yay! He will be here Sunday at noon. You don't want to miss it. Right. Following him, we're also going to have a lot of chef demos. And one of the things that we have to tell you the show is not open to the public. Sorry. You have to be in the industry, but a lot of you folks watching probably are in the industry, right? Absolutely, <laughs> and you do have to be 21 to attend. Minor detail, a lot of alcohol samples going on. Basically, if you are a hotel, motel, restaurant, ice cream store, coffee shop, liquor store, nursing home, school, you can attend the show, walk around, and you can see we have close to, what, 400 booths? We do. And those are the people that sell and service our industry. So it is only open to the trade, which is a very important thing. Definitely. Now, we also have educational sessions. Got to do a little bit of learning while you're here. Absolutely. <laughs> so we have renewable real estate, all about s harnessing the solar wind and energy for credits, energy credits. We have communicating across hospitality. We have P-Money, which is all about paying by mobile phone. Kind of crazy, but it's happening. We have Room Master, which is all about hotel management systems. Lots of things. Amy, what are the show dates and hours? Sunday, March 3rd and 4th, 11 to 5 and 11 to 4. Excellent. We hope to see you at the show. Thanks. Thank you. Bonfire has for over 36 years provided the best seafood and prime rib buffet on the beach. The buffet is over 150 feet long. Snow crab legs, oysters, clams, steamed shrimp. It's a seafood feast. Our carved order station features prime rib, pork tenderloin, ham, and London broil. And our saute station prepares special dishes each night. And don't forget the fresh salads. For the kids, there's a buffet they'll call their own. And for dessert, the Bonfire's legendary hot donuts and soft serve ice cream. Make your reservation tonight. We have plenty of room for families and large parties at the Bonfire. In this segment of Day Tripping, we're here in lovely Dorchester County. There's a lot to love here in Dorchester County, the heart of the Chesapeake. From boating, to cycling, to eating local seafood, Dorchester makes for a beautiful escape and it's just an hour west of Ocean City. Dorchester has more shoreline than any other Maryland County, so it's easy to get out on the water. One of the best ways is to join a sail on the Skipjack, Nathan of Dorchester, on the beautiful Chop Tank River. The Skipjack is Maryland's state boat, so there's a lot of history caught up in those sails. You'll hear stories of watermen, see an oyster dredge in action, and you might even get a turn at the helm. You can also explore Dorchester's waterways on your own by kayak or boat. Or join in the fun of a paddle wheeler dinner cruise, a romantic sunset cruise, or a fishing charter. Or come in October for the Cambridge Schooner Rendezvous when majestic tall ships gather here. One of the most scenic ways to get around Dorchester County is by bicycle. The roads are flat and quiet and the scenery is gorgeous. Pick up a cycling guide at the Dorchester Visitor Center and try out rides from 5 to 80 miles. If you love nature, Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge is known around the world for its 30,000 acres of dramatic marshland. Check out the refuge's wildlife, drive by car, by foot, or by bicycle, and you're bound to see bald eagles, herons, egrets, and ospreys. Hungry yet? Head to historic downtown Cambridge where everybody's buzzing about the restaurant scene. Not one, but two chefs were finalists for statewide Chef of the Year honors. Be sure to have a crab cake or oysters while you're here. Just about every restaurant has delicious local crab meat and oysters on the menu. Come for the day, come for the weekend. Find out more about Dorchester County, the heart of the Chesapeake, at tourdorchester.org or call 800-522-TOUR.
Whether you are a discriminating wine lover, buying wine for dinner, giving wine as a gift, or on a budget, Atlantic Liquors Wine Selection is designed for the best shopping experience. With over 2,500 varieties of wines, Atlantic Liquors is committed to providing customers with carefully selected wines from all over the world. From inexpensive to wines of distinction, the knowledgeable staff of Atlantic Liquors will help you select the perfect bottle. So make your next toast with wine from Atlantic Liquors and see for yourself why we are the greatest liquor store in the world. Hi there. Welcome to the Aztec Lighthouse. Thank you for having me, Peter. You going up? We are. 175 steps. We better get going. Let's do it. Okay. Peter, how high off the ground are we in this lighthouse? Right at this point, we're approximately 125 feet. The, uh, the lighthouse in total is 142 feet. At this point right here, we're about 140, 125 feet. And, but that's not above sea level because the, again, the dune is 22 feet tall, so uh, that would make this about 147 feet above sea level. The first Assateague Lighthouse was built in 1833 to warn ocean travelers of the dangerous offshore shoals. With construction of the lighthouse, Assateague Village became established northeast of the lighthouse. The population grew to 225 by the turn of the century and supported a school, store, and churches. By 1915, there were 25 to 30 families in Assateague Village, not including the lighthouse keepers and their households. The last person to leave the village was the village's one general store. Today, the village site is marked only by some building foundations and a cemetery. In 1943, the S.B. Fields family, the principal landowners on Assateague Island, sold their property to the U.S. government for use as a national wildlife refuge. To visit the Chincoteague Wildlife Refuge and the Assateague Lighthouse, set your GPS to 8231 Beach Road, Chincoteague Island, Virginia, 23336. It's amazing you know, at the end of a day or at the end of the week to take a look and just see where people are coming from. We have people from obviously all over the United States, but also from, uh, we have people from, from the British Isles, from France, Norway, Sweden. You know, we had, I had one gal come through from Islamabad, Pakistan, uh, people from Japan and China. It, you know, it really makes it very interesting to see where all these people are coming from. The Visitor Center at the Refuge is here to orient you to the trails, what to do outside, a little bit about the history of what was here before it was a refuge and what the Fish and Wildlife Service does to manage um, the refuge and the wildlife here. watching BTV.